Hey everyone, welcome back to Skill Curb. Here at Skill Curb, we post daily videos on new cutting edge technologies. Today, we're going to be exploring an amazing AI pair programming tool that is CodeGPT. Using this tool, you can generate code, you can refactor the code, write the documentation for any code, explain the code, and also debug the code. And there are amazing features like you can upload an image and it will generate the code for that image, which is the best feature of this AI pair programming tool. So without further chatter, let's go and actually test it out. All right, to start using CodeGPT, what you have to do is you have to go to your VS Code and in the extension section, you can search for it like this. And this is the one that we're going to install, CodeGPT by CodeGPT.co. It has really amazing features. And the one that I'm really excited about is this picture to code feature. All you have to do is upload a picture and give it a prompt and it will generate the code for you according to that picture, which is really amazing. You will have something like this on your screen. This is the code GPT chat box. So the amazing part about code GPT is you can select from different providers like OpenAI, Azure, this Google AI Studio. All you have to do is select the model. You have to go select the provider and then you have to go and select the model that you're going to use. So I'll be using the Gemini Pro and that's it. And after that, you will have to set up your API from there, which is completely free for Gemini Pro. All you have to do is go to Makershoot. Here in their AI studio, you have to select the Gemini Pro and get the API key. It's that simple. And then you will have to paste this API key here. And that's all. But the provider we'll be using for this video will be the Code GPT Plus. For this, you will have to sign up to their website. And for now, it's completely free. Maybe in the future, they will start charging you. But when I signed up, they did not ask me for any credit card or any other details. So let's go and try this out. They will be providing the chat GPT4 model for you. They have the four benchmark features. Explain the selected code, refactor selected code, document selected code, fix a bug in the selected code. So what we'll be doing is we'll be using all of these features and exploring how good this pair programming tool is. So first off, I'm going to go and ask it to generate a code for me. So I'll say, so I'll be going really basic and I'll be asking it to write a JavaScript code for finding the factorial of 50. So let's go and hit enter. And there you go. Within a few seconds, the code is here. So now what you want to do is either insert the code or copy the code. So I'll be simply clicking on insert code and the code will be here. Now just save the file. Let's try and run this out. And here comes the factorial. We can find the factorial of any number. We need to type in the number here. Let's say five and let's save this and run this. So there you go. This is the factorial of five. Now that was a really basic code, but what if I'm a newbie and I don't know anything about code? So I can select this code and I can go and ask it to explain this code to me. So I can say, explain the selected code and boom, it will start explaining it. So there you go. It has the complete explanation of each line and everything, every logic that's been used in this code, which is really amazing. Now let's say I want to refactor this code. Maybe I want to optimize this code somehow. Let's go and use that feature of code GPT. So code GPT gives you this refactor selected code feature and let's go and try this out. It gives you the older code. Then it tells you that you can refactor the given code by introducing modern JavaScript ES6 syntax like const, let, instead of var, and by switching the traditional function to an error function, which is really great. It gives you the explanation as well as the refactored code. So let's go and actually insert this code. It will replace the existing code, which is really great. And now you can optimize your code and refactor it within seconds using this code GPT. Now we know how to explain using this tool and how to refactor using this tool. What if I say I want to make a documentation of this code or any big project that you have in future. So for that, all you have to do is select this code and then say, write the documentation for the selected code. And that's it. Hit enter and your response is here. It will give you the older code. Then it will redefine that code with comments and documentation and give you a very detailed code right here. So what we can do is we can just click insert code and that code will be here. That is a detailed explanation of this code 
they even give you an example of how to try this out, which is really amazing. So I think this tool is one of the best in the pair programming section. Now let's try an inducing bug in here. All right, so I've induced a few bugs in my code, but now I want code GPT, find out those bugs and fix them. So let's go and select this code and type here, fix bugs for the selected code and hit enter. And first off, it will give you the buggy code, then it will start generating the bug free code and here is the bug free code. If I try to run this out, it will give me errors. But if I just click on this insert code here, the code is redefined and bug free now. All I have to do is save this code, then rerun it and look, the results are here, which is really amazing. It actually went and fixed the bugs and gave me the actual working code, which is mind blowing. Now we have covered all the four basic features. But there is one more amazing feature that I'm really excited about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. CodeGPT has this amazing feature where you can actually upload an image, an example image in the VS Code right here in the extension and it will generate the code for that. How amazing is that? Let's go and actually try this out. All you have to do is click here on this image icon, then go to wherever your image is. So for me, it will be in my documents. Then go select that image and that's it. The image is uploaded. Now you can ask it to do whatever you want about the image. Like you want to create a React component, you want to create a TypeScript component, or you want to just create an HTML file using that image or whatever you want to do. So I'll be saying, so what I'll be saying is write the HTML for the image provided. Now all you have to do is click on insert code and your code will be into your HTML file then save the file and just go live. You will see the results. This is what it created using that image, which is really great. It gave you the basic infrastructure of that image, not actually designing it because we only asked for the HTML, not the design as well. I'm really impressed by CodeGPT because this is mind blowing, just mind blowing. You can upload images into your VS Code and then ask it to generate code for that. I mean, that is a revolution, isn't it? There were models where you can upload image and they will give you the code, but all of them were outside VS Code and a third party thing. This one sits right into your VS Code and does all that. Oh, and one feature that I forgot to tell you guys about is that it lets you do the auto completion work. For example, look at this here. If I zoom it in, you can see it has given me this uh, grayish looking text here. And if I hit tab it will do that let's go and try something else if i'm here and i wait here for a while then it will suggest me what i actually want in here so i can just click tab and boom it's done so it also comes with an auto completion feature which is mind-blowing in total it has six features code generation auto completion it can explain the code it can refactor the code it can fix your bugs and it can document your code. And at the end, you can upload an image and it will generate a code for that image. So image to code as well. So it has a complete set of six features, which is mind blowing. I think this one takes the lead in the pair programming tools. I'm really impressed by this one. If you found this insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to SkillCup for more content on cutting edge technologies. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video where we continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Stay curious and keep exploring.